Hi everyone, Erin Bassett here. I'm going to be showing you how to make some quilling flowers with these great new quilling dies that Provo Craft has put out to go with the cuddle bug. Um, you will need the long 13 by, I believe it's 6 inch plates with your cuddle bug with these. Um, and the great thing with each kit that you get, um, you get four of the dies to make um, a type of flower. This one is the daisy flower. Um, you also get this awesome cooling tool that has a little notch at the end that you slip the paper in and then you just twist to, um, you know, turn it into a circle, to, um, which is the essence of quilling makes it a million times simpler than doing it the old-fashioned way trying to do it with your, just your hands really hard um, and it does come in this cute little kit so you have a little spot to store everything okay so I've already went ahead and cut out what I needed um, with my little uh, dies over here um, I'm just gonna take one of the center pieces for it and if I'm going to slip it on there. So let me see if you can see that. So you can see the um, cooling pin is just holding it itself. Um, I get it to almost the very end and then I just start to turn it. And I just with one hand twist and the other hand hold it in place and make sure I'm not going too wonky. Um, sometimes if I go fast I get a little wonky. Now you can um, add little drops of glue as you go along um, if you want a really tight secure flower you know it depends on what you're using it for but um, you know you can do that or you can just wait till you get to the end of the strip and then put a little dollop of glue right there um, you can also do it um, you know adhere all your little strips together first although I find it kind of awkward to have um, that much paper <laughs> you know trailing behind me as I roll I'm just going to hold that for a second. Um, and then I'm going to add my next little piece. And that'll be one of these centers. And with the flowers that I use on my projects, I tend to um, ink the centers of the flower or the paper. Um, not just the centers, um, but it, I did not do it this time <laughs> for the sake of time. So you just want to keep, you know, twisting these. You can make them as big or as small as you want. You know, if you want a very big center, you can roll, you know, more of that than I did. I'm just trying to give you an idea. And so I can add this other center piece, make it a little thicker. I do like the look of that, so I'm going to do that. A little bit more glue. And you just want to make sure that you're continuing to roll the same direction the whole time, um, which I mean, that's not very hard, but you do want to make sure you're doing that. And if you're doing a project that requires a whole lot of these, it's really great thing to do in front of, you know, TV or watching a movie because you don't have to, so I'm kind of get a little wonky, I'm just going to pull it right off. Um, you don't have to really pay attention too hard to what you're doing, it's an easy thing to do. Well, this is the outer petals. These different types of paper. And you can see with this, obviously it's a little bit longer, so you just want to make sure that the base of it here is lining up with your paper um, so that the base of your flower is all the same. There's not any part that's longer. So I'm just going to continue to roll that. Once again, this looks really pretty when you ink it. It just adds a lot of more character and I think it looks more finished. So you'll have to forgive me for not doing it this time. <laughs> okay. So I finished my flower, you can see it, um, and I'm going to fluff that up after I give this a second to dry. It's really easy to just remove the pen um, from the end, you just pull it out and you can set that aside. And then here's your flower that you can start to fluff out. And the center, I 
kind of like it closed up like that a little bit. You can even, you know, just do some of the outer layers of the center. But I think it looks really cool to have it a little tight. Um, of course, it looks really cool to have it open too. Just whatever you want. And I love that you can make such cute flowers so quickly with this and you know use it on whatever project you're using. 